Hello. And look what's just rolled into town. Um, this is an old tooling. I've got first thing I've got to say about it, it's an old tooling. Um, I saw it on Sam's trains and he was uh, reviewing it two years ago, but he had the LMS version. Mine's the typical BR one. Um, and yeah, um, his one has got the eight pin decoder socket and it is loco driven. Um, the only thing they've changed in that two years and given it a new catalog number, obviously it would be different with the BR and LMS numbers anyway, is to give it a 21 pin decoder. Um, the only other thing different is that's it really um all the, all the other things remain the same um it is an old tooling it goes back so i've just noticed that i never noticed before that chimney it's got a sort of a copper cap on it probably um this was used on the great western railway at some point i should imagine because the uh, midland did supply these for that region they run all over the war department and everything, these things. And um, if you want to have a look at the uh, background of it, I'll just stop that freeze frame. Uh, yeah, I fitted the lace decoder in it, my crew's in it. Um, it's got a slight clicking noise, which you can hear, uh, which I'm not happy about. Um, these wheels are very small, so your track has got to be really flat and um connected together well which this one isn't um it runs um but yeah it needs a retool it needs metal boiler it needs some um, cab detail was the same and they're charging a lot of money for this um yeah i just need an af and i thought yeah why not i thought it was slightly better up upgraded tooling but no it isn't um so someone like Curious Gow or even Backman's need to get on this and um, give it a revamp. Anyway, let's see it running. I've been chatting for tw two minutes. What I'll probably do, because um, these weren't really used on passenger trains, I'll get it to shunt these four coaches um, back, if we can get it to do that. It's got a good pickup, by the way. Um, I'll get them to shunt it back on the other line and we'll pick up that freight um you can hear that little click so you can hear that um there's the cab you can see those guys in there on it's left hand drive these uh, locos i looked it up so we've got the uh, driver and fireman in there typical stania tender there's a little bit of coal in there but yeah it's quite plasticky for what it is i think this model the bare bones of it goes back to 2002. Yeah. You hear that little clip? I've tried to get rid of it, but something's clicking there and I can't find it at the moment. So I've given up. Maybe I'll find it at some point. So what we do, we'll just stop it when it clears the points. And I have to imagine the brakes going on. Just, that'll do. Put it in reverse, change the points, and carefully reverse it back. Let's see if it will do it without derailing. Coaches should be alright. These are Batman um, porthole. They're all Batman co coaches porthole because of the round porthole Stanier coaches. And lovely and smooth. Um, I might get round to putting corridor connections on these one day who knows but uh yeah it's going over nice and smooth with those um let's see how the loco itself deals with these points because i've never run it over the points yet there she comes Seems to be okay. Got great pickups to say, so it's not once door. Huh. Spoke too soon there, didn't I? 
don't know what that was. Uh, the wheels are off there. Oh dear. Oh, it's catching there. We have stopped. I hope the bloody decoder hasn't blown up. Nope. We want it to go backwards. I think. I'm sure the drivers are off. No, they're alright. Never seen this before on the test track. I think these have got a certain radius curve that you're supposed to stick to, so that may have a bearing on it. That's that pony wheel, isn't it? Moving around. I was doing the same thing on Sam's trains there. Need a bit of weight on it, I think. Anyway, let's shut them out of the way. Oops. And stop. Right. I'm going to change these points because um, oh, it's not going to work. We need to go right back round because we need enough room to get the freight out. If you see what I mean. This is going to push it the other line so I need to get this as close buffer up as close to the rear of that middle of brake van as possible get over there and uncouple it if I want to stop that about possibly about there just to be on the safe side see it put it in forward now take a trusty uncoupler over there which is hiding behind the box here and uh, look at that locomotive, it's all off the shop, but it's barely on the track. I don't know if you can see that. It's barely on the track. No. This is one of my worst videos. We'll get over here, re rail it carefully. Alright, now get our coupling in and push it forward just to help out. Uncoupler, just like that. That should do it. You see, it. I'm confident that that, oops, that is ready to disengage from the coaches. Let's see. No, hasn't got it. can't take it back any further because 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 I've got the room for something that's not uncoupling now what is it oh I did then get it in now that's it that look see both coupling bars are up that will uncouple now patience is a virtue in model railways Stick it in forwards, and she should go. Yes, we got it. Right, we'll come back to that spoon. She's going to come round and get the freight train. Hopefully, we've got enough room to do it. Change the points. Here she comes. It's the small wheel. It's the small wheels on these things as well that you have to watch. Whoa, got it down. Got it. Right, make sure it hasn't coupled up over there, hasn't? There's a gap. Reverse. I'm gonna shunt this onto the other line, but it certainly didn't like these points. So. Slip in there. Look, look, see the back wheels come off? It doesn't like this radius curve, see? I'll re-rail it and help it. But yeah, too tight a radius for this. Hopefully we've got enough room to clear these points and not couple up to that. I think we're going to do it. Yep. Stop her. That's it. Put it in forward gear. Change the points over. Oh look, I think that's off again. But what we do, I'll bring it round and re-rail it as it comes round. I can't reach over there. 
this has got to be one of the most um what can i say about this video i've never done a video like this before we had so many mishaps in it so we'll stop that when it comes around here abruptly and re-rail it again but like i said not really supposed to be running on these curves let's see if we can get it onto the other line check that bogey that's all right the rules are on now what's going to happen when she goes over these points it's a brand new loco oh, i didn't like that kicking but whoa got derailment brake van is off no idea why all right start again Oh, it's not, oh, not getting the traction. Oh, Hi, mate. Come on, that's it. The track isn't as flat as it should be here. I'm not hitting anything. Alright. I'll have a play around with that, check the back to backs as well with my back-to-back -back tool there make sure that the wheels are not causing a problem now bring it back and that's the sort of train she should be pulling what we do we just take it round in the reverse this is what they were built for freight trains like this It's all right, but I think I, I'm not going to tell you what I pay for this. But it's worth about hundred pound less than what I pay for it. I want to show you something on the uh, loco. When it oh dear, it's not happening today, is it? We'll let that run around like that for now, and we'll pick that up in a minute. was to probably uncouple it and um make the other way it might be alright. Should we try it? 12 minutes. Let that break down before it causes any more damage. Alright, got it. Let's uncouple it. Well I'll do a sh right forwards. Get it uncoupled. If we can get that right that's ready to be uncoupled. Just need the uncoupling tool, which is sitting over there. So we'll grab it like this. And I've just knocked it over. <laughs> I've knocked the engine over. Oh dear. It's not happening today, folks. There you go. I knocked it over when I was uh, reaching for it. Right. This is warts and all. Normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I would not, um, do a, a video like this. Right. Back on 64. She's got the number 64. And we're going to run it round the other way. I just want to point out this. You see that wheel going around there? If you can see that screwdriver job. No screwdriver when you need it. A pair of scissors. And get in on it. It's just here. In there. Behind there. There's a little wheel going around in there. Right? That's the motor wheel. <laughs> wow. I can't say I'm impressed with that. Anyway, speed her up. Let's get this freight train rolling. Let's see if this comes off the rails going backwards. I don't think it will because it's more suited to these uh, wider curves. That looks still on the rails to me. Here she comes. This uh, loco and tender are permanently coupled together as well.